Hey, 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 sisters, keep it real, shine on, sisters. How we doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Wednesday, happy 23rd, say the 23rd, yeah, 23rd of October. How are you guys? How is everybody doing? How is your day? How is your evening? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And when you jump on, Please let me know you're here, how your day was, and put in the comments, faith, unwavering faith, all day, every day, I choose faith. I choose faith. Okay, and I also realize, you guys, that you have lives and families and jobs and things to tend to, so if you can't attend live, then you're gonna catch the replay. Hey, Amy, how are you, sister? Let me move my camera here real quick. Get this right here. All right, we're gonna get started. So if you are jumping on or gonna catch the replay later, move this here a little bit. Just comment replay. Hi, beauty, so good to see you. I can feel your energy. Ooh, hope you had a great day, sister. Love, love, love having you be here. So the topic, you guys, for this soul session is faith over fear. Whew. Okay, here we go. You guys, I believe that faith is the ultimate form of abundance. So I just put out a course called Abundance is My Superpower. And after really processing, after really thinking about this topic over the past couple weeks, abundance is faith. Abundance is a knowing. It's, it's a knowing that and a belief that you are meant and created to shine. So it really, that, that course could have been called Faith is My Superpower. But it is an energy that I have chosen to step into and live and be in my life. And so we're going to get into that. And I'm not trying to make this about me, but I'm going to share some stories around this. And I want to help you exercise your muscle of faith, to, to, to step into the knowing of who you are, who you're created to be, that you're meant to shine, and that God wants you to enjoy your life, wants you to live in abundance, wants you to, to enjoy the richness of what's around you and what's possible for you. And so many people, oh, it makes me sad even thinking about it, choose fear because they don't feel worthy, because they don't believe they're good enough, because they don't believe there's something divinely guiding them, leading them with them, that's given them power within to shine. So it is my mission, you know, after really, really processing um, faith over the past few weeks, faith will change your whole world, okay? So we're gonna get into this. All right, so I want to go ahead and start with a couple things. I'm going to read this to you. I wrote this a few years ago. You will never find the will of God for your life if you're not willing to try some things. Like clothes, ladies. We're always trying on clothes and we, we put on what works and we take off what doesn't and we just keep going, right? You got to find out what fits. If you're ever going to find out what God wants you to do, you're going to have to try some things. You can stay in your boring boat or you can get out and try to walk on water. People who try things make mistakes, get criticized, are fearful at times. People who try things are the ones who do things. If you're, if you're never willing to try, you will never find out what you can do. You got to step out to find out. And that's so, so true. And that's what faith is all about, ladies. And it's not something that you just do when you're going through pain. It's not something that you just do once in a while. It's not something that you just do at church. It's an everyday energy. And so I'm going to get into that with you. Choose life. Choose faith. So I'm going to read the dictionary version of faith, okay? The dictionary version of faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Strong belief in God. Confidence, trust, belief, expectation, certainty. So here's the thing, ladies. There's two forces. So 
there's something in the, there, there, there's the spiritual faith force that comes from God, right? We get our faith. We get that faith. Every single person on the planet has faith within them. Every person. We've been given it, given it to us by God, by the divine. And we have to exercise it. We have to use it. The opposite of faith is fear, okay? And if we're looking at physics, if we're looking at some of the universal laws, like the universal law of gravity, what goes up must come down. There's a, the universal law of vibration that we all produce a frequency and energy, right? A vibration. There's also the universal law of polarity. And that's basically for happiness, there's sadness. For, for faith, there's fear, right? For joy, there's anger. There's always an opposite. So we always, 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 always have a choice. If we want to operate from a love mentality, a love energy, an abundant energy, a faith energy, or we want to operate in fear, which is worry, doubt, anger, frustration. Those are not coming from God. God has given you abundance. God has given you faith. God has given you love and wants you to peel back the layers of fear and step into the best version of you. And I'm not talking you guys about what happens to us in the afterlife. Okay, going to heaven and stuff. I'm talking about while you're here on this planet, you are meant and created to enjoy your life, to operate from faith. You know, we don't want to just go through life and go through the motions. You're meant to shine. So we're going to get into that. Okay. There is a force wanting to keep you small, comfortable, miserable, stuck. That force, you guys, is fear. And we've all been there. Okay? Faith can grow when we use it. It's when we release this power that things come to fruition. So it's use it or lose it. It's like a muscle. Okay? We have to use it. And ladies, we're using our faith every single day. We use it when we wake up, having faith that our body, that our legs are going to hold us up for the day. We use it in our marriages. We use it when we have to sit in a chair. We put faith in a chair that's going to hold us up. When we are raising our kids, we put faith. It's, we, we are using faith all the time. But a lot of the time, we're using it in things that we can see. Okay? And the spiritual side of this the, the side that's going to just grow and enrich your life is, is the faith that we can't see. Okay. You can't see it. You can't feel it. It's a knowing. And I have learned to exercise my faith through God. I have learned, you know, you guys, I've seen in my own life by, by stepping into faith, by releasing that energy, by exercising it, my life has changed forever. I didn't know the how of the, how things were going to change in my life. I didn't, you guys, I just chose to step into the energy of just trusting God and doing my part and truly living in well-being and joy and abundance. And God has richly, richly blessed my life. And that's been a faith mentality. I've seen things happen in my family. I've seen my dad transform. You know, I was questioning for a long time if God was real. And you know, God knows what you need when you need it. Um, I have seen people in my life uh, that exercised faith in times of struggle and, be, and just who they were and how they maintained peace through it all, how they knew and believed that something was going to happen on a positive side of things really made me go, this is real. I saw my own stuff. I saw, I saw a woman in my network marketing career, her her son had cancer and her faith through the whole thing was incredible. It, it was just, she still, even though she was sad, even though she had doubt, even though she had fear and frustration and just was going through that horrible time with her child, she never lost hope. And that's what faith is. It's hope. It's hope and knowing that everything is going to be okay, that you're, that you're here for a purpose, that you're here and meant to shine. So we have a choice every single day in everything we do to operate from faith or to operate in fear okay and any time you choose to operate from faith to believe to trust to know that you're here for a reason that you're meant to shine that that you're going to get through something fear is always going to pre present itself always 
always, 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 fear always comes in when you say, I'm, I'm ready to go, I believe, I trust, I know. You're gonna have the mind telling you, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't do something trying to keep you small, trying to keep you stuck. You're going to have the evil for, you know, you're going to have the devil on your shoulder saying, you're, you're, you're not, you, you can't do this. I want to keep you small. I want to keep you stuck. I want to keep you miserable. But that's where we have to have the unwavering faith, the unwavering belief that we can get through anything. And if you're somebody that doubts faith, it's really important to get around people that have faith, to get around people that 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 believe bigger that believe in something bigger than themselves that are shining that are positive that um know believe and trust that they're meant to shine that that but put positive energy into the world that love other people get around those people and watch your faith rise watch your faith watch your energy elevate that is what's happened for me i've been around other people who exercise their faith and i'm like whoa and here's the thing guys whether you believe in god or not you know, if you look at anybody, anybody that's successful and is at peace and truly just a, just a good person, Oprah and my, my gal Joyce Meyer, and there's just so many, so many people. But you look at those people, you know, Walt Disney, all the, these are normal people, you guys. They're just like you and I. They just had unwavering faith. Whether they wanted to call it, um, you know, that they believe in God or not, they believed. They believed that they could achieve something. They believed something before it came to fruition. They believed that they could do it and they were unwavering about it and they didn't let the ego, they didn't let the devil, they didn't let any of that stand in their way. They didn't let the fear of, op of opinions of other people, of judgment, of being successful stand in their way. They knew they were meant to shine and they went after it. And the same thing is true for everybody. Okay, I'll keep going here. So again, it's not something we see or feel. Once you take a step of faith, God will always meet you where you're at. So I want to just say the closed fist analogy. Okay, closed fist. When we aren't exercising our faith, okay, I want you to think of your, your mind like this, just closed off. When you're not exercising faith, when you're living in fear and doubt and worry, God can't get through, the energy can't get through to help you shine, to help you take the next step. It's when we ask, it's when we start praying, and I'm gonna get into the steps of this. It's when we believe, number one, that we're meant for more, and then we start asking for help, okay? And then our mind starts to open, and then that energy can seep in to get through to you to say, okay, here's the next step. Here's what I want you to do next. Here's what you do next. And you surrender to the process as you can start trusting and believing and following your curiosity and, and saying, God, show me, show me more, help me. That, that your mind opens and expands and you, you become a clear container for that energy, energy to seep in and it starts meeting you halfway and saying, I got you, throws a person in your path, throws money in your path, throws a situation in your path. That's how it works, but we have to ask, we have to believe, we have to ask for help. If my kiddo, if my daughter, if I say, is doing something, maybe climbing a rock wall or something and I say, uh, can I help you? And they say, no. There's nothing I can do. She might slip. She might fall. Do you see what I'm saying? God is lending you a hand saying, I got you. Your angels are lending you a hand saying, I got you. We got your back. You just have to ask for help. You just have to believe that I'm here with you, supporting you every step of the way. When our kids need help, we go and we help them. Okay, we guide them. But when they don't want our help, yeah, they might veer off the path, go a couple different directions, might stumble, might fail, that's okay, but we're always there. Loving parents are always there. And you have a loving God, you have angels, you have a divine team that's guiding you every step of the way. They're not gonna let you fall, they're not gonna let you fail. When you release the power of faith, when you release it and you step into abundance and belief and power of who you are, and believe that you're worth it and trust and ask God every single day to surrender that power, you will be led on this journey. Fear will present itself, but you'll say, uh-uh, I know who I am, I know where I'm going and I can do this. And you will manifest things in your life. And even if, and here's the thing, faith takes patience. We never know when it's, when, you know, the manifestation is gonna come to pass. But here's the thing, we just have to believe that something 
something great is going to happen in our life and God's always got a bigger plan than ours. So to just hold the faith. So I'm going to get into steps, ladies, on what to do to start releasing faith in your life every single day. It's not just to go to church on Sunday. It's not just a, when you're in a bind. We need to do it every day. We need to use it like a muscle because you prep now. So when you get in hard situations, you can handle it. We want to lay the foundation so when you get frustrated, you can handle it. It's choosing love over fear every single day in the little things that lead to the big things. Okay, so here's the steps, you guys, to release faith. Number one, believe. And I say this all the time. Believe in something bigger than you. Believe that you are being divinely led. Believe that you are a child of God and you have God flowing to you and through you and all around you and you are meant and created to shine. That God came for, so you could enjoy your life and live it to the fullest. You are not here to play small, okay? Number two, praying. Praying in faith. How do I pray? Guys, it doesn't have to be like this rigid, you know, like rehearsed prayer. It's just going to God. And you know what? Affirmations are prayer. I am abundant. I choose faith over fear. I am an overcomer. I am a conqueror. That is prayer. God, help me. Show me how to release my faith. Show me how to walk through and step into fear. Show me how to grow. Show me how to be the best version of me. Anytime you're speaking life to yourself, to other people, talking in the shower, in your car, at your job, you know, you just close your eyes and you say it to yourself, you're praying, you're releasing faith. Affirmations are faith, speak life to yourself. Saying in faith, okay? So we've got our prayers where we're talking to God and we're being bold and courageous and you know, praying big things, releasing faith, saying please help me, guide me, show me. Saying in faith. Saying, you guys, is our words, just like what I was saying. Anything that's positive, anything that's affirming to who you are and where you're going and how you talk about yourself and other people, believing in you. If you don't believe you can do something, you never will. And I, I mean, I hate to say this, but it's the truth. God's got your back, but he's also given you a mind, body, spirit. He's also given you the vessel to thrive. He's also given you a mind. And it's our responsibility to say, I can do this. I can do this with God. We've got to do our part. When we take a step, God meets us and takes a step. Okay, so say positive things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am an overcomer. I am a conqueror. I am meant and created to shine. I am whatever you want to be. Speak life. So the three ways, guys, is praying, saying, and doing. Okay, doing. When your belief matches your desire, Okay, you will take inspired action. So if you believe that you're meant and created to shine, if you believe that you're meant to do something, you're going to start taking action to do it, to get healthy, to advance your business, to whatever it is in your life, um, to forgive somebody, to change your attitude. You're going to get in alignment with doing, praying, saying, you're going to take action from that place. If you don't believe you can do something, you're not going to take action. Faith is belief. If you believe that you can advance your business, if you believe that you can get healthy, you're going to start taking action towards those things. So we've got to do our part too. We've got to show up. We've got to show up and shine. So get to the root of believing in you, believing that you're powerful with God. You've got the, you got, you are a child of God. You've got the blood, you've got the DNA running to you and through. You can do, be, or have whatever you want. You can do, you're meant and created to shine. Step into that, own it. And when fear presents itself, it's showing you what you need to grow through. It's not a negative thing. It's saying, hmm, what do I need to do with this? Like, what is this teaching me? What is the meaning in this? and have unwavering faith through it all. Through it all, God's got a bigger plan for you. Okay, we just have to peel back the layers and keep going. Okay. Some other things to say. God loves me. Today, today is gonna be a great day. Something good is going to happen to me and through me today. I, abundant energy, you guys. Abundant energy. Okay, fear. Fear is, oh, I think I'll do that, but then we stop, okay? 
we get some ideas in our mind, oh, I'm gonna do this, but then we let fear come in and tell us, no, you're not good enough, you can't handle this, you're not smart enough, you're not blah, 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 you're too, you know, and we let, you guys, we let opinions of people, we let our own insecurities, we let all the stuff outside of us rule our life. That's not who we're, we're created to be. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's, it's pressing forward in the face of fear. So ladies, step into, if you're in a fearful state, okay, if you're going through something and you're like, I just am scared, you've got to step into the, the energy of courage. What does courage look like? And even if it's just taking baby steps, you know, what does it look like? How, how would you walk? How would you talk? How would you show up in the world? Courageous. Courage will move you through fear. Courage will help you shine. Courage will, will move you towards the direction that you're meant to go to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ladies, we are meant to be bold, confident, courageous, full of faith, life that gives us joy, life that gives us peace, life that gives us abundance. So the only things that you need to do at this point is recognize the areas where you need to step into faith. Recognize the areas that aren't serving you, the areas where you're stuck and say, I'm no longer available for this. I'm going to operate from faith. I'm going to operate from who I truly am at a soul level, which is abundance and love. And I'm going to use the power and I'm going to use, you know, God, I'm going to, I'm going to ask God to help me and guide me every step of the way. I'm going to surround myself with people that believe and think bigger than I do. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to believe that I'm worth it. And every single day, show up, commit to stepping into the person that you're created to be by praying by saying and by doing every single day. You do the little things, they lead to the big things. And you just keep going and you just believe and know and trust that you're meant for greatness, that you're meant to shine, that, you're, that you can overcome and do, be, or have whatever it is that you want and that God's got a plan for you if you just keep surrendering and trusting and knowing, okay? We have to change our thinking. The world, you guys, wants us to play small. The world lives in a fear mentality. The world, the world is used to complaining. The world is used to gossiping. The world does not turn to faith right away. We hear of miracles. We hear of stories of just incredible faith stories of people that have overcome. It's because they've changed their thinking. It's because they've changed their program. They're no, they're no longer allowing negativity. They're no longer allowing fear to control them. We have a choice. Choose faith. Choose faith over fear all day, every day. Choose faith. The world's going to tell you that can't be done. You can't do that. You're not good enough. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that, could, that you could never heal from that. That's not true. You guys, you have a God that can move mountains. That God is within you and you can do it. You can do whatever you want to do. We have to change our thinking. Don't worry about how long. Don't worry about how hard. Just hold the faith and keep going. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm going to stop with that. Well, hold on just a second. Okay. So with that said, I just want to tell you, you guys, you have a choice. You have a choice in everything that you do. If you're going to operate from love versus fear, if you're going to release faith or you're going to choose fear. Um, you will never know the plan for your life. You will never know the richness of what you could truly be if you don't choose to step out in faith, if you don't choose to, to surrender to the calling of your life. And I don't, I don't say that to scare you, but I just, I, you, are, you are meant for more. You're meant and created to shine. And so that starts with loving yourself, loving who you are and knowing who you are, praying, saying, doing every single day when you wake up and your feet hit the floor. I am created and meant to shine. I believe, expect, and know something good is going to happen to me and through me today, okay? Gratitude, give thanks. 
feeling gratitude now on the way to where you're going, praying, saying, doing every single day. And in every moment, asking yourself, am I choosing love? Am I choosing to operate in a faith mentality, a positive mentality, a loving mentality, or am I choosing to respond in fear? And fear, you guys, is worry and anger and frustration and all the things. And we're gonna have those emotions. That's part of life. We're gonna have those. But the key is to recognize when those are creeping into your spirit, to recognize the areas that are harming your spirit, that are causing frustration and getting to the root and saying, why is that? Why do I feel this way? Why is this affecting me this way? And going, hmm, maybe it's because, you know, I was my programming or this is how I've always been or this is how I was treated growing up. Getting to the root of the anger and the frustration and whatever it may be and saying, I'm ready to heal this. I'm ready to grow through this. I'm ready to face this and, and, and move through it. That's fear. We've got to move through those emotions to explode and be abundant and, and really operate from a faith mentality to go into love. So ask yourself, what areas are not serving me? What areas are not serving me? What areas do I need to grow in? If you're fearful, okay, I know some people in here are in network marketing. And if you're fearful to put yourself out there, okay, you gotta go within and say, why? Why, why, am I, why am I afraid to put myself out there? I'm meant and created to shine. If you have a desire, if you know that you wanna go somewhere and you have a why, a big why of what that's gonna do, what it's gonna create, freedom, fun, whatever it may be in your life, you've gotta to get to the root of why you're not taking action, why you're not stepping out in faith and say, I'm done. Like I'm gonna to decide to, and commit to surrender, to trust that God's got my back, that I've got a group of people that love me and I'm gonna go all in. And I'm going to show up every day in the little things. The little things is the praying, saying, and doing. The little things is an attitude of gratitude. The little things are speaking life to yourself. The little things are when you have somebody come into your life and you can share the business with them, you, you do it. Even though it's scary, you use courage. You say, I'm going to step into this courage and I can do this. I'm meant and created to shine. You don't let anything hold you back from that because faith has got your back because God's got your back because it's what it's who you are it's what you're meant and created to do no person can steal the abundance from your life the only thing that can get in your way is this that's right between your ears choose faith choose you choose love choose you okay with that said do you have any questions ladies any questions Any questions, questions? No? Okay, so again, praying, how to release faith in your life. Praying, saying, and doing. A prayer, you guys, is just you can talk to God like you talk to a friend. Even though you can't see God, right? You just talk like you would. You know, God, help me today. Help me shine, help, help me show up and and be the best version of me. Show me how I can grow. Show me how I can release faith even more. Show me how I can be the best version of me. Show me how I can serve people. Saying, saying, speak life, speak positivity, affirmations, feel it, know it, be it, step into that energy, speak life, okay? To yourself, to other people, be the light and doing. Doing, you guys. Doing is when that fear presents itself. You're saying, mm -mm, not today. I'm worth it. I'm worth it. And people need me. My family needs me. My friends need me. My, I need me. I, I'm meant and created to shine. Release that faith and know that you are, you, that the universe, that God has your back. Okay. With that said, we'll stop. No questions. Okay, Amy, I'm not sure when you wrote that. Wrote that. Need some fuel for my soul. That's why I'm here. Awesome, sister. You're so fantastic. I'm so grateful that we crossed paths, not by chance. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing woman you are. Ladies, faith over fear. One more thing. <laughs> I'm just thinking of this. Okay, I had a little, um, I had a picture and it had faith on the top. Then it had a line and then it has fear. I want you to, I'm a visual person. Um, so faith's up here, right? Fear's down here. 
I want you to think of that line over the fear. If you live in fear, your life is going to be, you're going to be boxed in. You're going to be limited. You're never going to, like I said, you're never going to really be able to explore and expand and, and live in the richness of what could be for your life, who you could be, what you could become, what you could create. Faith is up here. Faith is limit. There's no, there's, it's not boxed in. There's no line over it. It's infinite possibility. It's wide open. It's beautiful. It's abundant. It's love. And it's, it's being the best version of you. It's how, it's what you're meant to be. It's what you're meant to be. Don't get to the end of your life and say, man, I wish, you know, I wish I would have done this or I wish I would have done that. But I, I let fear, I let what other people think. I let, you know, my own insecurities hold me back from the abundance that I was, that I could have created in my life with God. Don't get to the end of life and have, have, have regrets. Regrets. Start now. Choose faith over fear. You're meant for, you're, you're meant for greatness. You're meant to shine. You're meant for infinite possibilities. Surrender, pray, say, do, believe, know, and trust that you're here for a purpose, that you're here to do amazing things. Show up in your life and be the light and trust that everything is working for your good. Lots of love. Shine on, sisters.